Hello everyone, welcome to Power App Full Course. Today, in this video, you will learn about how you can connect your Power App to Dataverse table. Hi, this is Krupali from Knowhow Academy. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn in this video. First, you will learn why Dataverse in Power App. Second, you will learn how you can create an app using Dataverse. Third, you will learn how to get Dataverse table in Power App. Fourth, you will learn how you can connect your Power App to Dataverse table. Fifth thing, you will learn how you can check whether the Dataverse table is empty or not. And the last thing you will learn about how you can publish or share your app which is built based on Dataverse table so without delay let's get started so first of all let me tell you why dataverse in power app this question has a several answer but let me tell you some points which is most relevant to that answer so first thing is that if you are connecting your power app to other data source like sql server microsoft excel or onedrive excel file so every time you need to use connector now some of the connectors are freely available and some of the connectors are paid just like a sql server if you want to connect your sql server to the power app then you should have a premium license or you should buy that connector now here in dataverse to connect your power app to the dataverse there is no requirement to add extra connector so this is the one of the reason now second reason can be that you know when you are using any other database management software you need to maintain its security governance and the policy but here in microsoft dataverse you just need to make tables and just do and and manipulate the data rest of the thing like security governance and the policy that can be handled by the microsoft itself the third reason can be it is easy integration with the other microsoft ecosystem and fourth reason can be it is a low code or you can say no code environment whether you just need to use gui to interact with database and you should just drag and drop or you should just write data without writing any query. The next reason can be let's say if you want to expand your database then you should take care of about the what is the server space whether this much data will be stored or what will be the load on the database if the data storage is more. But here in Microsoft Dataverse, you should not be worried about that. Why? Because everything will be taken care by Microsoft. As a database developer, you just need to sit, develop the table and write data or manipulate data. Rest of the things you do not need to worry about. So that are the reason for using Dataverse in Power App. Now let me tell you the second thing. How you can build your Power App using Dataverse table let me show you practically basically there are two ways to connect your power app to your dataverse first when you are designing your app or when you are creating your app first time you can select here create and then you can start creating your app with the dataverse i have already told you that how you can build your power app using dataverse table using this dataverse option so in this video i will tell you that if you are creating blank app how you can connect your blank app to the dataverse table so first of all you need to click on blank app and then you need to select blank canvas app blank based on dataverse or power page website so here i will select blank canvas app and click on create then i will give name to the application let's say uh, dataverse power app power app and then you can select any format so i am selecting a tablet format and my app will create with the one default screen now remember if you are creating this app like that so your app will be connected but manually you need to connect your app to the dataverse 
so here you need to go to the data and here you need to click on add data and search for the table now you can see that any dataverse table which is there it is already available uh, you can see that so whatever data you require you can select that let's say i want account data so you can select that an account table will be added automatically by the dataverse so here no need to buy a connector no need to establish manual connection and so on so this way you can create your power app using dataverse table now let me tell you the next thing that how you can get your desired dataverse table in power app so as i told you that you need to click on data symbol and then you need to click on add data so here i have created one job seeker table in dataverse so here i cannot see that so what you can do you can search the table by its name let's say job seeker so here you will see that and once you cl click on that table will be added automatically so this way you can add dataverse table in microsoft power app now third thing let me tell you how you can connect your existing power app to your dataverse so let's say uh, let me save that application and close and connect to the another application or you can say open the another application so let me go back so here you can see that i have opened one uh, power app which is connected to excel which is there in microsoft onedrive now if i this existing power app if i want to connect to microsoft dataverse the process is the same you need to click on that and click on add data and connect the uh, whatever table you want so here i want let's say contact table so double click and it will be added automatically so in power app there is one good facility that you can use multiple data source in one App. now let me tell you the fifth thing that how we can check whether the dataverse table is empty or it contain any data here there are two ways you can use formula to check it or you can use this three dots and click on it and you can click on edit data if data is there here you can see that otherwise this table will show blank so this is the another way let me show you the first way using formula how you can check that so let me go back to the screen and here let me add one label or you can say text now what i want to display here i want to display here the message that data words table is empty if no data is there and if the data is there then i want to display data words table contain data so here in text property i will write if condition so if you need to write condition then in microsoft power app one power fx formula called is blank it will check whether the table is empty or not so inside a bracket i will write let me just uh, expand that and let me write that is blank and then inside a bracket i will write my dataverse table name if this condition is true i want to write this table this table is empty otherwise if this condition is false then it will display table contain data okay and let me save it and run it now you can see here the table contains data why it is like that because my dataverse table contain data now let me just make a correct grammar so table contains data so this way you can check whether the dataverse table is empty or not now let me tell you the sixth thing that how you can publish or share power app which contain the dataverse table so here you need to click on share button to share an application uh, whatever power app application you have made so new window will open and here you can write the person email address to whom you want to share but remember that depending on your organization policy you are allowed to share so let's say i am a trainer and i have rights to share this application so here 
you can write uh, the email address let's say my one of the colleague in email address is let's say as if at the rate uh, let me just check it out the email address uh, here I need to add email address let's say as if so here the name will appear and to whom I can share and you can write an email message when you are sharing an application so this way you can share your power app application which contain data verse table so automatically whatever screen or whatever data you have all data will be shared now let me tell you the second thing that how you can publish your power app so here once again go to that and here this a uh, small arrow sign is there click on that and here you can say that save with version notes so he first of all you need to save and you need to write a version note that this is the final version and then after you can click on this so whatever changes you have done it will be saved and here uh, it is saying that you need to publish that and here you can write your power app uh, short description that tell that this application is for what and click on publish this version so this way you can publish your power app now if you click on that publish button within a fraction of second this application will be published then you need to go to the window and if you see the version here you will see that this much version I have created and whatever version is live that means whatever last version I saved with the publish you can see here the live this means that this application is in publish mode and rest of the things are version of that application and you can see that this is the test version and after that I made some changes and save it so it, it, is, it will consider it as a version 2 then version 3 and version 4 so I hope you understand that how you can share and publish your power app which contain Dataverse table. So before ending this video, let me tell you what you have learned from this video. First, you have learned why Dataverse in power app. Second thing you learn how you can build your power app using Microsoft Dataverse. Third thing you learn how you can get your Dataverse table in power app. Fourth thing you learn how you can connect your existing power app to the Dataverse table. The fifth thing you learn that how you can check whether the Dataverse table is empty or not. And the last thing you learn that how you can publish and share your power app application which contain Dataverse table. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as a source of your IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious, keep learning.